or listen to the podcast. Just search for Hancock and Kelly. Three weeks after Republicans ousted their own Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, they finally elect a new one after repeatedly failing to do so. He is Louisiana Republican Congressman Mike Johnson. You're going to see an aggressive schedule in the days and weeks ahead. You're going to see Congress working as hard as it's ever worked. Johnson was elected on the first try after his nomination. He is known as an election denier, one of those Republicans who claim Democrats stole the 2020 presidential election from then-President Donald Trump. Your thoughts on this pick, Megan, and whether Republicans will pay a price for all the shenanigans leading up to this and maybe lose control of the House in 2024? It's, it's possible. I mean, he's the fifth choice, so it doesn't inspire quite a lot of confidence, I think, from his own party. And I think the American people can see the chaos and maybe kind of brush it off as an unserious situation continuing to happen with House Republicans. They seem more interested with infighting themselves than actually accomplishing anything. And he is very conservative, very, very conservative, which I think on social issues in particular is just not in line where the American people are right now. And I do think that they could pay for that next year. Um, um, you know, people care about a lot of conservative issues, but when it comes to gay marriage, which Mike Johnson's very outspoken on, I think the American public has moved past that. And if he can get the focus back to those kinds of issues, that's not great for Republicans. The fifth choice. You know, I just dawned on me. We are about a year away from the election. Oh, yeah. Will any of this matter, you know, the no, last three weeks? I don't think from this now? particular episode is going to matter. It's, it's like picking a neighborhood trustee, Andy. Nobody wants a job. <laughs> and you go, you go to this guy, come on, it's just a couple of years, you can do it. No, no thanks, I'm not going to. That's what this has become. Now, Mike Johnson, very conservative. He's got three weeks to figure out how to thread the needle and keep the government open. He's not going to be able to pass the appropriations bills in three weeks, which means he's going to have to do a continuing resolution, which means it's going to have to have bipartisan support, which means he's going to do exactly what Kevin McCarthy did a month ago. Uh, the question is, will the caucus allow him the honeymoon period to do that? If he can do that and run the government, he could have a successful tenure. He's tied to Trump, no doubt, right? There's no doubt. The United States carried out airstrikes on Iranian-backed militias in Syria in response to a series of drone and rocket attacks against U.S. forces in the region. This comes amid Israel's overwhelming military response in Gaza to the October 7th Hamas terror attacks. Israel is now embarking upon a ground invasion of the Hamas-controlled territory. The Palestinian death toll there is reported to be more than 7,000, probably climbing with the uh, latest incursion into the area by Israel. More than 1,400 were killed initially in Israel, including more than 30 Americans. Hamas is still holding more than 200 hostages, including Americans. John Democrat progressives in the United States, like Cory Bush of St. Louis, continue to accuse Israel of genocide and war crimes. What should the United States role be in all of this right now? Well, Cory Bush is non-serious, so let's set those comments aside. Uh, look, Israel's our closest ally in the Middle East, one of our closest allies in the world. Uh, I think we are right to be there. The bombings that took place uh, on the eastern side of Syria by the U.S. against some of these uh, installations that are satellites of Iran. Uh, the U.S. bases had 19 attacks leading up to that. We dropped some bombs. I worry that this could escalate the conflict beyond Gaza. That ultimately is the big concern here, and I think there's a lot more to learn before we see how this is going to end. How do you see it? I think that John's absolutely right. The escalation is deeply concerning. I, I would hope our, our um, role as Americans is to support our allies and also support uh, protecting innocent lives everywhere, de-escalating conflict before this it completely spins even more out of control than it already is. There's no good outcome here unless we can get things tampered down. Still to come, why our quote of the week led to a $10,000 fine for Donald Trump. Also another guilty plea from another former Trump ally, and this one comes with tears.